Hello everybody, it is I, Earth Knight, and welcome to Xenonauts 2. Now, I played the original Xenonauts forever ago, and it is very similar to XCOM, one of my favorite games ever. Uh, we are definitely going to try this game out, see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to be going on Soldier. I'm going to have the introduction. Uh, going... Okay, so that puts on custom. So we'll just do soldier, show it in yellow, show inflicted damage, armor destroyed on death, dynamic UFO health. Yes. Uh, let's get in the campaign. Oh, wow, that is. The year loud. is 2009. The world teeters on the brink of nuclear war. Tensions between capitalist and communist nations are at boiling point. Every opportunity for peace has failed, as if an invisible hand inexorably steers humanity towards annihilation. We Xenonauts know the truth. The dark forces poisoning our politics are not human in origin, and we must protect our planet against this extraterrestrial threat however we can. After years spent gathering information on an enemy that few believe exist, we are finally ready to strike back. The war for our future begins now. So this is more of a secret society, Illuminati type um, XCOM. So we are definitely fighting aliens, but it is more along the lines of uh, Project Phoenix, I think is what it was called. I haven't played it for a minute, but I definitely want to get back into it. Um, but the ones that came from the original developers of the original XCOM, not XCOM 2. Uh, cause they switched developers midway through, which is where the Phoenix Project or Project Phoenix came in. And it, it was amazing, amazing, fantastic game. Uh, definitely recommend those. These are, these types of games are definitely my favorite type of games to play. Uh, the team, team based strategy type, which is why Horizons Gate has like 90 something episodes, uh, in a matter of three months. <laughs> And while other games tend to not have as much content, I don't even think I have as much Arma content as I do games like this. Um, just because I love this type of game the most. Uh, I've also fiddled with my volume settings a little bit, so hopefully this sounds better than my Wandering Village one. I noticed I was super quiet in that one, so I raised up the volume here. Sweet! Welcome to Xenonauts 2. We are a secret organization. Attempting to protect the world from alien invasion. Short tutorial explaining the basics. This game features nested tooltips, which allow people to access information where desired. Anywhere that you see a text link, simply hover over it, and the link will give you the thingy. Like this one. Well done. Oh. The lock tool, middle mouse button. Proceed. Okay, so. Our work on our radar is now complete. Theoretically, we should be able to capture the tra capable of tracking any alien and UFOs passing within radar range of this facility. Thank God. That chief scientist looks really nice. It's not exactly easy to borrow all the things we've been asking for. Hardly my concern. We must achieve the impossible if we are to triumph over the extraterrestrials. Yes, very inspirational. So what's the plan now? We wait. An alien craft should pass within range in the next few days. At that point, the commander takes over. Okay, so radar range is the blue circle. UFOs flying here will be detected. We're stationed in the center of Africa. I did not pick that for darker. Uh, we can switch to game speed. You can see the day-night cycle going by. Geoscape anomalies. Farmers disappeared. Operative eliminated. That's not good. Two anomalies on the map signify hostile action that has been raised local panic. They are not interactive, but may indicate the presence of a possibly hidden problem in the affected region. At the start of the game, these will usually caused by cleaner activity. However, UFOs will also generate anomalies as they fly around the map. UFO 1 detected, size small, escort none, speed 1800 kilometers per hour, high altitude heading west. Uh, let's launch interceptors. So this is very similar to XCOM where we have to launch interceptors to go take care of them. Uh, launch aircraft. Uh, auto resolve. 
We can launch more than one craft. That's great. Angel 1's fuel, armor, health. Ooh, Angel 1 took a lot of health damage. Angel 2 took some. Except result. Second Witch Bass Soldier, uh, launch combat team. Skyhawk 1 from Central Base. Launch. Okay, tactical mission. The screen allows to change soldier equipment. However, the simple quest launch drops fun to see come. So we can change their weapons, the gear they're carrying. Uh, we can have standard loadouts. Uh, it's not going to let me change anything. Here's a list of the people we have apparently in the sh Skyhawk. Uh, and we can launch it. That sounds ominous. It is. Every cleaner cell in the region is deploying tactical teams. No prizes for guessing where they're headed. Time for us to leave. Wonderful. Just what my research efforts needed. I suggest you recall your soldiers, Commander. We need to hold the perimeter until everyone can get away. Indeed. Try not to get killed. You seem less mediocre than your predecessor. Yeah, good luck, Commander. We're counting on you. I think that was from the first game, the Cleaner Cruise. Which is where we had an operative lost. I think there are disguised aliens that are trying to find and kill us while we're trying to find and kill the aliens because the aliens are obviously the Illuminati type blah, blah, blah. <gasps> only six minutes in and we're already talking conspiracies let me go get my tinfoil hat real quick X will be talking about wear gators in Florida Okie dokie. Uh, is this our base? Let's see one. Use camera controls Q or E to rotate. Scroll. Each unit has tactical combat. Uses time units to perform actions. This is fresh each turn. A lot. The number of times unit and soldiers remaining indicate green bar at the bottom. So that's their 60 time units available. Here they come. Form up and hold the loading bay. Okay, movement, you can move a soldier by left clicking anywhere on the battle. Left click again to perform. You can rotate a soldier by moving that right clicking anywhere on the battlefield. Finally, use your orders to crouch, make it harder to hit. Then end the turn. Have reinforcements coming in. Looks like they're auto taking up spots. These are cleaners. To be the Xenos. Attacking enemies, hover area, highlight enemy, attack cursor. Attacking enemies, green number on the left, cross area to get time count. White number on the right, cross area to hit percentage. Click the enemy in order to attack. Again, and he's dead. Next soldier, well done. You successfully killed the enemy. As your you soldier does not have enough to you remaining to perform further attacks, press space to mark your current soldier inactive and automatically select the next closest. Okay. So weapon range. Squares drawn between the shooter and the target will resemble represent the shot path. The path is green when the weapon is within range. So here. Click the target to attack them. I don't want to attack them. What is he shooting? Regular. Force the soldier miss shot. Hit space to hit. Select the next one. Short range weapons. This is a short shotgun. More effective. Short range. Blah blah. Move there. Shoot. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Most weapons have several fire modes with varying accuracy and time unit cost. Most expensive fire modes select by default when targeting an enemy. As more expensive fire modes provide more accuracy per time unit spent. However, at this range, it will be preferable to fire two shots at lower accuracy due to the passive short range hit crit chance bonus on the weapon. Roll the target, right click to change, and then left click. 
Alright, the shot's out of high. Hit chance, so still miss. Bad luck will happen in the game, part of it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, simply attack the target a second time. Thankfully, you did not have any more bad luck. Flush space to select an exact soldier. Hover over the highlighted enemy. This shot has low hit chance because there's large intervening cover objects in the path. No details hit chance. Only the highest intervening cover values hit chance. Most trains you're not to is destructible, something that players can use their advantage. Select the highlighted soldier by clicking on them. Free fire mode allows stars to hold down control to activate free fire mode and click on those crates. Select this unit. Fire on him. Grenades. Click the button for the grenade. Pop it out. It's so much more than XCOM had. XCOM was like four turns done. Secondary weapons. Pew pew. Space bar select next active soldier. Move him here. Oh, wait. Shot preview mode will show you hit chance time unit. Hold the shift key while hovering over the target. Let's see, click target when preview mode is active. That's basically so we can see if they move there, what will happen. Press end turn, see. Ooh, we're really out of position. That's too many of them. Fall back to the next room. Or watch our order selected to move to the highlighted square. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, there. This. What? I got. I got an achievement for that. That's bullshit. I hate losing units. Okay. Soldier's just been killed by enemy Overwatch fire. If the unit turns enough time, units remain fire out its weapon before an Overwatch. Suppressing enemy with a flashbang grenade. All these units have been suppressed. 50% of their normal time. So select you. Waterway smoke grenades. Group at the next position, we need to hold them off until evacuation is complete. Destroy complete. Take the elevator's full campaign. Mission complete. That's a bullshit. I got an achievement for losing a unit, but I didn't even have any control over that. I've been watching my microphone peak like. Freaking crazy. I'm a little worried about the audio quality, but hopefully it'll catch it. Or I'll have to edit the video for once. In more detail, audio edit the video, I guess. Do regular video edits more. Ah, Commander. Good of you to finally make an appearance. Apologies for the delay. This place isn't exactly easy to find. Yes, I believe that's rather the point. Commander, I'm glad to see you made it. Welcome to our backup facility. I had a command room and a cache of emergency supplies installed a while back. No getting around the fact that our new home is a derelict nuclear bunker full of 60s era junk, though. Hope you're fine with the cold showers, cold food, and love cold air. This is literally XCOM 2's whole thing. We got busted by the aliens, and now we're trying to rebuild it with backup mode. Like you don't last long in the military if you're not. What's our status regarding the cleaners? Relocating bought us some time, but they're still after us. If we don't find a way to eliminate them soon, they'll find us and start attacking us here soon, but they're not even our biggest problem. Indeed, my recent studies suggest once estimated mass. My recent studies suggest once estimated mass is factored in, extraterrestrial activity appears to be to follow a mathematically predictable pattern. More precisely, exponential growth. We are nearing the, and we're nearing the end of the curve. In plain English, <sighs> the UFOs arriving in our skies will soon begin to increase rapidly in the size and or quantity. I doubt it will be long until the aliens launch a full-blown invasion. I don't like the sound of that. How long do we have? Weeks. A couple of months at most. I suggest you make the most of it. 
Please choose a location for your starting base. Oh, where do we want to start? We can do Asia slash Australia, Russia, well, Siberia and Russia, uh, Europe. Africa and Middle East, South America, America. I can't post in Greenland. What kind of bull tuckus is that? Ooh, we might put it on here. I want to cover a lot of area. Choose base name. Should do. Hey Commander, seems like Covert stage of the invasion is coming to an end, so I'm officially handing over the control of the organization to you. I'll still be here running day-to-day -day operations, but right now we need someone with military experience in charge. Quick primer on what you need to know. We're in surprisingly good shape, given recent events. We got the helicopter away with the, all our civilian staff, our chief scientists included. Although naturally he spent the entire flight complaining that he'd, he'd rescue his lab assistants instead of his research notes. Please resist the temptation to cause him bodily harm. The only thing worse than having him in charge of the research division would be not having him in charge of the research division. The man is quite literally a genius and absolutely essential to the war effort. Your best chance of getting him to shut up would be to start recovering the research samples and specimens he wants, i.e. find some aliens, kill them, take their stuff. But I'll let you figure out the specifics for that particular job. The eventual goal is to learn enough about the extraterrestrials to work out how to defeat them but reverse engineering their technology might help even the odds so in the meantime. There'd be poetic justice in using their own weapons against them. I'll take care of the political situation, provided you keep global panic to a reasonable level. My agents can't operate in a region too paranoid, which means no funding and alien influence goes unopposed. Lose too many and I won't be able to stop tensions spilling over into nuclear war. Let's get started, eh? There's coffee on the pot. New research projects available. Assign research projects. So we get combat vehicles. Your ceaseless interruptions do not enhance my product. Dude. Yeah, I'm going to want to strangle him in a matter of days. He sounds like an outshadow. Uh, start research on combat. Okay. Where do we go to? Let's see. This is the Geoscape. This is our barracks. No base screen. Oh. Here's a little mini map of Shadow Cloud. I think that means they boost each other. That's our radar. That's our power. Workshop. Barracks. Barracks. Storeroom. Laboratory. Our research. Our engineering. We can create defender armor or different airships right now. Here's our soldier. Oh my goodness. This is going to take a while to get used to. XCOM's is much simpler. Hello, what are you? Shield. Your your entire job is shield. Okay. You are a shotgunner medic, shotgunner medic, rifleman medic, rifleman medic, rifleman, rifleman. Heavy. What is that thing? Tactical module. Nice right there, small piece of accuracy. Sniper. Three people are a rifleman, a rifleman, and a rifleman. Aircraft we've got, we've got standard. Okay. Angel one. Oh, we can rename Oh, I could rename everything. Hold on, wait a minute. Alrighty, so I renamed everything, so we have the Shade Wings, the Black Paw, and I renamed all the different people. Except for the three that are unsigned. Everybody that's signed is now a member of the Knights or related. Uh, now we just fast forward. The journalist disappeared. The journalist disappeared. Uh, alien research team has been started gathering data. Launch combat team. Launch interrupt. Like Pile Fez Research Defense Tactical Battle. Journalist is
this take forever long. There we go. Eliminate all hostiles, all xenomods, and we'll make it. We're almost at the top of the energy signals, Commander. It's highly likely there are extraterrestrial life forms nearby. So if they weren't expecting a fight, eliminate all resistance to secure the area. Okay. Uh, who do I have in front? Miss Shield. Go there, please. Uh oh. Enemy spotted. Can I shoot him? No, I can't. So I'm going to move there. Face. Well, that happened. Uh, okay. Well, we're not doing that again. Can't launch a grenade in there. That will be bad news. We'll launch him over here. Six over. Hello. I wasn't aware there were civilians. Pass him, please. Pass him again. Yeah. Okay, you can't make silver. Uh, actually, I need. There's more? Uh, that way, please. And take a deep. Uh, take a deep. Soldier. I am 100% going to use her for cover. Can you get there? You can. 
watch that. Most of them going that way. Where's that thing? Is that like the alien pods from x -Men? I saw one of these farmers had a gun. Okay, the aliens didn't actually move. See, they got a gun. There they are. It's all blood in there. There's another one. Okay, so there's two. I need a med kit. You have a med kit.
always lose Nick first. you miss both of those? Uh, I can't use it. It's got a name. I was, uh, 15. What was that? Oh, there's another one. it is. I don't know if that actually injured her. Doesn't look like it. Only lost two of them. That took like much longer than I thought it would. Ooh, okay.
Okay, so wounded for 29 days, it got a metal crimson heart. Suffer more than 30 HP damage during single combat. Plus one to all attributes. Okay, let's see what happens when they get back. The funds are going up slowly. A preliminary analysis recovered alien equipment suggests widespread previously unknown metallic substance. This super heavy element is clearly artificial in origin, being far too massive to occur naturally. It is fundamentally unstable in its natural form and thus only ever encountered as an alloy. The properties of these alloys vary dramatically based upon the constituent metals, but appear in a range of truly remarkable levels of strength to more exotic behaviors such as superconductivity. This likely occurs because the nucleus of each atom is so large that the orbiting electrons are approaching light speed. Hence, the element is governed not by the established rules of classical physics, but by the bizarre possibilities of quantum mechanics. One suspects that they will find many use for these alien alloys as my research continues. However, we, given the lack of the technology, we synthesize ourselves with the scavenge where we can be possible. Autopsy Secton. Health 45, 80, bravery 40. Really. Psionic triangulation, body size small. Sightings of diminutive extraterrestrials with pallid gray skin and oversized black eyes are a common thread among eyewitness reports of alien activity. It appears that we may have encountered the culprits. A secton stands less than 5 feet tall and possesses substantially less muscle mass than the average human adult. The physiology is nonetheless fascinating, similar to our own, with mammalian circulatory system and largely recognizable internal organs. The head contains the most significant differences. The brain is relatively large and has a distinctly unfamiliar structure, while the eyes are at least three times the size of the human equivalent. Unsurprisingly, this grants Ecton's excellent vision. The mouth is present, but is underdeveloped and hidden below several folds of skin. The teeth suggest an omnivorous diet, yet no food is present in the stomach. Instead, a number of metal ports are dotted around the spine. However they evolved, it appears these creatures now receive their nutrition directly into their bloodstream. Battlefield reports suggest sectons can cover ground quickly but are generally weak combatants. The average accuracy and reflex is otherwise poor physical attributes, yet they also become markedly more formidable when encountering groups, somehow placing the shots with unerring accuracy whenever a fellow sectron is nearby. Though these creatures should not be underestimated, one nonetheless suspects we will encounter rather more deadly extraterrestrials in due course. Uh, new ones available. I kind of want to go for magnetic, but we're going to keep doing this one. Alright, but that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the game, leave a like, and make sure you comment if you want to see me continue this game. Uh, it is relatively new. I think it's been out for a couple weeks now. I'm uh, pretty sure it was released in 2023. It's been in my suggested games for quite some time. Um, but yeah, leave a comment if you want to see this continue. Toodles!